This is gonna be pretty. Look at here. There you go. Look at that. It's kind of pretty. Hi, this is Jerry with I Love RV Life. We have got a great hike schedule for today. We're up in um, Rayburn County, uh, right up above Clayton, Georgia. And this is Black Rock Mountain State Park. And this is the Edmund Trail. And I am looking forward to this. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. It's about uh, somewhere between five and seven miles. Uh, we'll clock it and see how far it's gonna be. It's gonna be an awesome hike. I'm gonna be going in and out of the shade. The parking lot's right back here. That's where we're getting started at after a long, windy road. <laughs> it was a twisty turny. There's a campground here too. Uh, the good thing about these state park trails, they're marked like crazy, 7.2 miles. So we've got a Tennessee rock, that's 2.2. I'm gonna do my best to get the 7.2 in today. Goes down that way. And your basic backpacking stuff. You know, no trace, low impact. All right, so we got two options here. Tennessee Rock Trail, 2.2 miles. James Edmund Trail, the most difficult. The most difficult. And uh, off we go. Looks like it's gonna be well marked. I'm excited about that. Well walked. Really excited about that. Well, as I start the trail, uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoy these. Um, I always, when we come to the mountains, try to get at least one good hike in. And uh, I really like those that are challenging. Uh, we've been down in Florida. <laughs> we've been down in Florida for uh, months. And uh, on flat land, so it's nice to be back up in the hills like going back and forth. Uh, this trail is gorgeous and I understand there's going to be some phenomenal views. <laughs> Let me just stop right here and uh, I'm going to be kind of jumping in and out in seven miles. I'm not going to show you all seven miles. We'll try to keep the video as short as possible but just I'm going to give you a little short scenes of what to see. Here's one of them. I I'm in this little you know just the early start and this is the good Lord and the nature's tease of how pretty this trail is going to be. And just look at all the ferns. I mean, look at them. Here, I'll give you a close-up. They're gorgeous. Just beautiful ferns. We've had light rain up here uh, off and on for the past couple days. Trail's not muddy. <laughs> and it's pretty. Some kind of pretty. I haven't even got to the views yet. This is just... I call the trail window dressing. Look at this. Some kind of pretty. Oh my goodness. Some kind of pretty. It just, it's a fern carpet. Isn't that awesome? Now, this is the other thing I love about these trails and I'm gonna hush. Listen. Yeah, isn't it? It's so quiet. Now we may see a little mountain laurel while we're here. We're pretty high elevation. I'm looking right now. We are at um, 3,186 feet. Temperature is in the middle of July, 72 degrees. Well marked, got diamonds all over the place. They say this is gonna be difficult. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, so far I'm climbing. We'll climb a little bit. Over the past year, you've probably realized by now that uh, Joan and I are huge fans of Brooklyn bedding. And we're not the only ones who are fans. We get comments on our YouTube channel and we get emails from iloverbylife.com weekly 
of people who have purchased Brooklyn bedding and go, it's made a difference. Uh, when we got our first fifth wheel, it was a gateway and the mattress was horrible. So we tried this foam and another type of foam and a memory foam and combinations of each. And then we got the gel topper which was an awful experience. It's like sleeping in jello. It was awful. Then we tried the pillow toppers and we would just try to add and take away. Could we make it better? We could not make it better. And probably if you were to add everything up when we finished, we could have bought us a Brooklyn bedding mattress from rvmattress.com. <laughs> and we did. We got us a new mattress. Uh, and the fifth wheel we have now, we have the Signature Series. It's awesome and it gives us the best night's sleep. The comfort is just amazing, so much so that we got this, the Aurora for our home uh, because we would rather sleep in the RV than our mattress at home. So we wanted the experience in both locations. Doesn't matter if you're a back or side or stomach sleeper, they've got a comfort level and a size for your specific RV, even those odd cuts. Uh, they've got a sizing chart that you can specify what you need. You're not sure, they've got a chat function on the website. You can talk to the folks there and they'll give you great guidance as they did me. Uh, even more so, a 120 night sleep trial. That just shows you not just a quality of mattress, but a quality of company who believes in their product. 10 year warranty on the product, that's fantastic. Free shipping. It comes to your doorstep. Here you go, you just get it in a box. You lay it on top of your platform, take it out of the box, take it out of the plastic. Within minutes, these mattresses go to full size, they're ready to sleep on that night. No off gassing, it's just a great mattress. Well, I would like to thank Brooklyn Bedding at RVMattress.com for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in getting a Brooklyn Bedding mattress for your RV, it's very, very simple. Just go to RVMattress.com slash I Love RV Life. And then when you get ready to check out, use the code I Love RV Life and get 25% off your purchase. It's just absolutely a great way to be able to get a mattress and find one that fits your budget. I'm about a half hour into the trail. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Now, hang got to the pretty scenes. We're going to have some just breathtaking scenes here in a little bit. But I just wanted to kind of show you the canopy cover. Uh, and it's windy, twisty, rooty. Um, not bad, not bad. If I can do it, you can do it. That's what I was talking about. Just all these canopies, all the laurel. Now it's all in bloom. We've, we've missed the blooming season. That was, uh, that was in June. But uh, you can just kind of see what the trail is like. I talked about it being, you can see, talked about it being rooty. And you'll see some of that. Um, a little bit of rock uh, that you'll see up through here. See, it's a little rocky up through here. It's well marked. I have no complaints with it. I've done a lot worse. I just a little, look at this. These are little, little treasures you see along the way. These little creeks, little streams. Um, but this kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. I mean, it is, it is breathtakingly pretty. And then you'll see, you know, we, I just been walking down. So now I got to pay the trail. If you watch my trail videos before you pay the trail you go down and you pay to go back up that's okay it's okay it's just as long as you get a gift of going down and the gift of going back up has views <laughs> i gotta laugh uh, if joel was with me which i miss my hiking buddy he's down in florida um when i start these trails uh, he and i both we jump into these things like like wild men of the woods. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to be with us. I mean, we tear off, um, you know, to see the adventure. We're going 90 miles an hour. And then on about the second or third rise, it kicks in of, slow down, Bubba. <laughs> You're not that kid anymore. Well, you know, as that great uh, poet, Toby Keith said, I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. <laughs> well, that's today's trail. I'm gonna be good for this. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. What a gift. Thank you. This is incredible. But uh, we're going down one of the steeper sections. Like I said, I'm just now coming off that ridge. I'm gonna have several more to go up and down before it's over with. And uh, we'll see how she goes. 
No, we did Blood Mountain two years ago. Joel and I did. Now, that one was steep and it had some rough spots, some 40 degree rough spots. And uh, we're not running into that yet. This is really a nice trail. Well walked, well marked. And then I'm using uh, an app. Uh, here, I'll stop a second and just show you what I'm using just as a back check. You can kind of see it right here, if you can make that out. It's uh, one of my favorite apps. And I'll, uh, it's, it's a trail app. Uh, and I pay for it. Um, it's nice. It's you know showing me the track that I'm going on. It's pretty cool. Coming up on one of these trail gifts. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a little bridge. Pretty stream. Let's see what we got here. All intertwined in the laurel. Oh, Joan, we were we were 30 days too late to see all the pretty blooms. If she could have come with me. But uh, nice little bridge. This trail's really incredibly well maintained. Oh, this is interesting. I've got to make a decision here. So we got an East Fork. Oh, this is the loop. This is the loop. So, well, if you come up on the fork, I just looked at the map. Um, it's a loop, and um, you know, you know, 50/50. What do you want? What do you want to see first? The East Fork, or do you want to see uh, the creek down by the campsite? You can you can register at the campground or at the uh, ranger station. And there's also a campground here. Um, and um, you know, I'm going to be coming back down the other way. So, I don't know. I just flipped a coin and said, let's go to the east side. They call that one the creek side. So we'll have that coming back. So I don't know if I'm gonna climb my, one, one way or the other, I've got to climb. So um, here we go. About three miles into the trail. Um, so far it's just been, you know, just this kind of stuff. As we go down the way, but as I just got right here, I stopped and listened. I don't know if the mic will pick it up. I hear water running, like serious water. Again, I must admit, I just saw the trail. I didn't look what was on it, what it offered. I just wanted to get out in nature. There's some views of the creek. We'll see how much we get to see. A good spot just to kind of take a five minute. Pretty bubbly creek down through here. Well, I'm painting the trail. That means I'm walking uphill now. <laughs> Got a big ridge to climb here. You can still hear the water in the background. And I hear a crow up there. Oh, here, big crow. But that wasn't, I, I tried to get my camera out quick enough and I couldn't do it. I was looking right over here, uh, right over in that area, there's a little path coming up and it was a big four point buck uh, <laughs> coming up that hill. And I was trying to be so quiet and get the camera out. And that fella looked up and saw me <laughs> and turned around, took like he was fired out of a cannon, phooey. Uh, I really wanted that shot. He was a pretty fella. All right. Breaks over. We're going to keep a climbing. I knew we'd get some more creek views up here somewhere. Oh, look at this. Look how many people's climbed over this log and made it shiny. I am not the first. There you go.
Well, I'm painting the trail now. Woo! This is a climb. I have been climbing for <laughs> I don't know how long, but uh, it's pretty steep. You can see where I'm coming down there, and I can't tell you if I'm halfway up or getting near the end, but this is, this is a, making me pay for it. Wow. It's going to be worth it. Pacing myself, taking breaks, drinking water, watching the heart rate on the <laughs> Apple Watch. We're doing good. Ooh, we still climbing. This has been going on for over 10 minutes. And I still don't see the end. Woo, this is a butt burner. Still a climbing. Still some kind of pretty out here, y'all. We're gonna get some views here in a minute. Well, it's been a couple hours. Uh, been, been quite a climb. I've made it up to one of the peaks, uh, up close to one of the camping spots that's up here. Um, I'm kind of working my way around, but I, I, I want to share some of the views that I'm seeing kind of along the, the peak ridge that I'm going up here. It's, it's pretty. Now, this is going to be blocked somewhat by the trees, but oh my gosh, is this gorgeous? Let's see if I can ease them up here on top of a rock. Let's see if I look at that farm down there. Isn't that gorgeous? That is something. Beautiful. I'm literally standing on a big giant bubble. Just a big granite bubble. You can see it, it starts down there. <laughs> That's what I was standing on. It just, this whole thing's just a giant bubble. This is Mountain Lookout Campsite. You can register to hike up here. And I've even got uh, bear trash cans up here. Surprised, usually you pack it in, pack it out. They call it Mountain Lookout, but right now it's just so overgrown, you can't see much. Unfortunately, I was hoping we could see something. The laurel's just blocking it all. Phooey. All right. Heading back down. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> and just kind of show you, I don't, it, it, the camera may brighten it up a bit, but just the canopy alone makes it look like, you know, about nine o'clock <laughs> with the sun setting in the summer and uh, kind of going through this canopy tunnel. I've made it around the loop. I'm coming back from up there at the very top where I look for some mountain views, but you know, it's hit or miss this time of summer. You got so much overgrowth and leaves, it's hard to get good views. But there's more, there's creeks and chipmunks and woodpeckers I've seen. That pretty four point buck, he was a handsome fella. Can't believe it, can't believe it. Met my first couple on the trail. I uh, had a little break and nice talking with them. <laughs> some human interaction. I, I want to show you this. This is uh, some really interesting terrain here. I'm going to go over this little bridge here. And uh, down below is a bit of a ravine. And uh, you can see it. It's, it's um, Maybe you can tell. It's pretty deep. You do hikes for a couple different reasons, or I do. Um, some is, you know, get to the top of the mountain and go, oh boy, look at, you know, look at the sun kind of pretty. <laughs> and those are awesome. Um, I, I've done that in a couple. You can do a search on the YouTube site or go to ilovervlife.com and you can look at those. And sometimes you just want to get out and smell this, whatever this is that you smell in the mountains. It's a cinnamon smell. It's fresh. It's clean undisturbed i love it and uh you just want the nature you want you know you want this you want trees and stunning hickory and oak canopies isn't that amazing and interesting rock formations i haven't bothered you with all those they're just 
everything from itty bitty to you know 40 feet tall it's been kind of interesting that's why i do it i just love getting out in nature and this is a this is a stunner i well, made it to the west end of the trail and uh it's, it's amazing when I'm, I'm dropping down in a valley now and just everything changes i mean it goes from you know big tall giant pines and oaks and hickories and then you get stuff like this you know you, you've seen it before just this beautiful fern coated canopy with all the mountain rhododendron over there just it's just breathtaking really you know you just it's just everywhere the path just cuts through it and then i hear bubbling down here so i'm coming across don't know if it's the same creek that i came across earlier if these things run together but this one is uh, really being a bit chatty i hope there'll be some spots down here to where maybe i can see some pretty flows i hope so go across the bridge here you go no actually it is two running together look at this that's pretty looks nice see it coming out of the coming off the mountain up there all right we still got two miles to go two miles so we're going to uh, dig in here get through the roots and rocks and hopefully we'll see something else along the way well for those who are patient there's rewards home run I was hoping I'd see something like this while we were here. Oh my goodness, I got me a sit down spot. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be pretty. Look at here. There you go. Look at that. You know, when I find places like this along my hike, this is what it's all about. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Cascade Fall. It's taking me five and a half miles to find it. But that is some kind of pretty. Some kind of pretty. Found this little jewel, just a, a sidestep off the trail. Unfortunately, this big old tree is blocking some of the view, but it's still a pretty, pretty thing. Look at this. It is a big chunk of granite for the waterfall all the way down. And it goes and goes and goes way down there through that thicket of rhododendron for a long way. And I can't see it from this angle. Unfortunately, I can't get to the other side over there to show it. And I am not walking across this log. <laughs> not after walking, walking almost six miles. Oh, that is pretty, though. All right, let's see what this little treasure looks like up here. I've been walking along the creek, oh my goodness, for a long way, but haven't been able to see anything because of all the overgrowth. But uh, just unfortunately, lots of fallen trees in it. And you got that pretty thing right there. Well, that was a tremendous hike. That's probably one of the strenuous hikes I've ever done. I think I ended up clocking about eight and a half miles. It wasn't the miles that got me. It was uh, the hills. Um, if I was to give this a strenuous number, I think I'd give it a nine. Uh, if you're drawing Social Security <laughs> or close to it, I'd say a 10. Um, it wasn't the length as much as just, uh, or the technical parts of it. It's just, 
up very, very, I mean, basically you're climbing mountains and you do it a couple times. And that last two miles uh, coming back, you've already got a lot of fatigue on your legs and boy, did I pay the price. But was it worth it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I don't get to do this that often. And to be able to spend the day, you know, we're talking seven and a half, almost eight hours. Um, to get to spend a day out here doing this uh, was just an incredible adventure. And the sights were beautiful and it was quiet and the wildlife was cool. I just love it. I just, I love doing stuff like this. But probably, I would say one like this is, is probably my limits. That's just, this is about all I can do. Um, it was a toughie, but it was worth, it was worth every step. I think I looked at my step calculation. It was only tw over 21,000 steps. <laughs> you do the math. So, uh, and probably half of those were uphill. Think about that, you know, 10,000 steps uphill. Uh, really uphill. A uh, lot of fun. It was great. Well, I do this because I love it, number one. And I also do it because I love RV life and I love sharing these adventures with you. I think on the closeout today, I'm going to leave you with a quote. So enjoy, stay healthy, uh, enjoy your RV travel, and I hope to see you in a campground soon. Mm -hmm.